everyone, welcome back to Earl Grey Books. I'm Ellie and today it's time for another weekend reads. We're here bright and early on this Friday morning uh, and I've got three books to show you guys. Um, so, the Six Musical Readathon has officially started so I have two books as part of that TBR. And then I have another book because tomorrow is Broadside, which is a feminist literature uh, festival hosted by the Wheeler Centre here in Melbourne. I'm going to one of the events, so I'm going to start with that one. So I've got about a 40 minute uh, public transport ride there and back. So I'm hoping to do a little bit of reading, maybe. Um, so I have Everywhere I Look by Helen Garner. Uh, the event I'm going to is to see Helen Garner speak. So I figured rather than take an extra book, I might as well take this one. I'm already taking two others of hers. So this is the one I'm currently reading. And um, yes, I'm only 11 pages into this one, but I will this is like short personal essay story sort of thing um so I'm kind of gonna dip in and out of this I don't expect to finish it tomorrow but yes we have that and now on to the six musical readathon TBR uh I had to switch out one of my books uh yesterday I tried to start inferior with the hope of kind of like getting a bit of a jump start because there's six books to read for this readathon and I'm not sure that I'm going to get through them all um but I just I just couldn't get into it I've tried to read this book about four times now um and I just can't see <laughs> literally like sitting right here staring at me really creepily um yeah I've tried to I've tried to get into it and I just can't so I've owned it for two years I figured it was about time to just let it go but um that was for prompt six which is Catherine Parr to read a book about education so I switched it out for women race and class by Angela White Davis I picked this one it's not directly about education but I feel like it's kind of in a way an education about intersectional feminism this was written in 1984, 81, 1981, um, which was before the whole term was, intersectional feminism was termed, coined, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, but yes, I started this one uh, this morning. I've been up for a few hours now and it's only eight o'clock um so i'm 30 pages in onto the second chapter and uh, i'm really enjoying it so far and then the other one that i'm gonna start is serpent and dove by shelby muharan um quite a few people are reading this for the readathon i know that kara and mckenna are two of the hosts um, so I feel like it's just like a popular one at the moment. I guess it's new. Um, I'm really excited for this one. Uh, my best friend Angel, who bought me this for my birthday, loved it. And Kat from Stars and Embers just told me that she finished reading it and absolutely loved it. So I trust their opinions and I'm excited for it. Um, this is, I think, maybe the biggest one on my TBR. Um, but I'm hoping it's kind of a fast-paced one to get through and hopefully a good one to sort of like get the ball rolling as I read the other one. So yeah, there we go. There's my little TBR for this weekend. Uh, let me know what you're reading if you're participating in the readathon. Uh, or what you're reading for the weekend and I will see you guys on Monday. Thanks for watching. Bye